You guys know the mission. Hunt a couple of nickel boxes and slot something in the books. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to the channel. We have a two box nickel hunt and our quest to find that 50D nickel for the Series 2 album to finally complete it or find three nickels that we need, the 38S, 39S, and 50D for the Series 3 side find albums. We're not going to sit here with a long intro. You know we're looking for silver, buffalo nickels. I haven't found any buffalo nickels yet this year in my nickel hunts, so I'd like to see some of that. Maybe some varieties, foreign coins, proof coins, something for the collection. They're both circulated nickel boxes, so I'll crack open the first one and see if we have anything good staring back at us, and we do not. Looks like a very tough box based on the number of newer Jefferson designs, but you never know. We'll get into it, see if we can find some goodies. It was nice getting off the silver schneid last nickel hunt, but it's not nice being on the 50D schneid as long as we've been on it. I'll be back when I have my first find of the first box of nickel hunt and field episode number 172. Well, we're on rule number one. Very first roll, fourth coin in, is going to be a 20 cents. And this should be uh, Singapore, if I recollect correctly. And it is Singapura, Singapore, you name it, 1991. First find is a foreign find. Can't get mad at that. Roll number three will give us our first older Jefferson nickel of the hunt. It's a 1941. And I think that's a Denver. Let me just double check, though. No, that's why I need to double check. It's a 41S, slightly better coin, but not in great shape. Roll number six. Our second 40s Jefferson nickel is the last year in the 40s, 1949, Philadelphia. Roll number 24 of the first box, and we have finally got our first Buffalo nickel of 2024. About seven coins in, I flattened it out and see a Buffalo nickel uh, burst. I think it's gonna be dateless, unfortunately. It looks pretty slick. You know what? It might have a date. It might actually have a date on there. I think that's 1927. Philadelphia. Let's just double check that date area. Yeah, that's a 27. So we have just enough of the date, 1927. And it is indeed a Philadelphia common year without a mint mark. We'll take it though. A dated Buffalo nickel, first of 2024. And that makes me happy. Hopefully there's more in the box. Roll number 28. Another oldie. Well, somewhat old. 1949. Philadelphia again. Well, we're on roll number 41. And typically I don't bring you guys in for 1950s fines. But I'll get to it in a second. But I just recently grabbed a roll earlier. That's in pretty good shape. It's got gunk on it, but a 52S. Now, it's not a semi-key date. It's not a key date. It's just a better date. I thought, wow, I haven't seen a 52S in a while. So I proceeded to hunt the next roll and about the fifth coin in, take a look at this. Beautiful look at 1951, it's slightly circulated. And when I flipped it around, it's also an S. And uh, that, my friends, is a semi-key date nickel with a lower mintage and in great shape. That's gotta be an upgrade. That's near uncirculated. It's probably AU 58, but 1951S, I will take that and uh, especially after finding a 52S in back-to-back -back rolls. Is the box heating up? Let's find out. Roll number 43, another nickel from the 40s, and this time a 1946 Philadelphia. Let's just check it for that Henning notch. Doesn't have a Henning notch, but I will weigh it up. Either way, first from 1946. Roll 50 of the box, gonna give us a parting gift. The second to the last coin of the box is a 1941 Philadelphia. Since I have you here, let's go ahead and do the recap. That's not a find. I think a total of 17 finds are on the board. 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17 finds on the board. We'll definitely take that. I'll tell you, though, we didn't get any silver. And I thought when we had that run, we had 249s, 251s, and 252s. I thought we might get a 1950 something, but we didn't. I'll take what we got, though. We got a pretty nice semi key date 51S. Should be an upgrade, or I'll have to check it against my personal collection as well. I only pulled this one aside because it's a really nice 1989 Denver with full steps, just in case I want to add on to the Series 3 book here in a little bit. 
We got that nice Buffalo nickel, 1927P, our first Buffalo nickel on the year. We did get one lower minted 2009 Philly. I don't see a lot of Phillies in my area. Nice to see it. And of course, it kicked off the hunt with that four in the Singapore coin, the 20 cents. We'll take it. Box one is down. We didn't complete our mission yet, but we got another box. Let's crack open this one, see what kind of goodies are on the top side. All right, it definitely looks like a decent box for some older Jefferson Nichols, but no Enders that I can see. Let's continue the hunt, pray for more Buffaloes, hope for some silver, and beg for the 50D. Roll number two of box number two, a 1947 Jefferson Nickel in decent shape, a little bit slick. And that's going to be a 1947 San Francisco. A lot of San Francisco goodies lately in these boxes, and I'll take it. And if I recall, this is a sister box, but a week later of the same bank we just hunted. Hopefully, that's a good sign. Well, it's a good sign. Fourth roll of box number two. I literally just opened the roll, flattened them out, and look what popped out. Looks like a slick buffalo nickel right here. Definitely slick. I might be able to get a date off that, maybe. It's a type two. I don't see a mint mark. No mint. And under the scope, man, I don't know. I don't know. It's Philadelphia minted. It's got three feathers. Probably not worth nicodating it. I'll see if I can get the date without nicodating it and let you know if I find something out. Either way, it's our second Buffalo nickel, and we have back-to-back -back boxes with a Buffalo nickel. We just need silver and some other goodies. Roll number 63 of the hunt will give us our first silver nickel. I didn't see it by the edge because it was the second coin in the roll, almost an ender. And as soon as I flattened it out, I saw the mint mark. Philadelphia minted. 1943. It actually is in decent shape, but it is a very common year in mint. But there is two different... Uh, Varieties you want to look for, there's a three over two over date on the 1943, and there's also a doubled I, and we don't see that there either. No varieties, but it's still silver, our first of the hunt, and we've got three old finds, one being silver, and that makes me happy, plus a semi-key date. Lots more rolls to go. Let's get after it. Roll number 67 will give us our first Mexican peso of the hunt. We do find these periodically in our nickel boxes. 1997, we'll take it. Second foreign of the hunt. Roll number 70. It is just a 50s Jefferson nickel, but take a look at this 1953 Denver. I already checked, it's not the RPM, and it doesn't have full steps either, although it probably was struck with them at some point. It's pretty nice. Could be another upgrader, and yet another nickel hanging around the 50s. Two from 53, two from 52, two from 51, two from 49, none from 50 yet. 30 plus rolls to go. Roll number 71. I'm back with another 50s Jefferson nickel. And even though it's only a 1959, it's a nice shape and it's a Philadelphia minted one, which means it has a lower mintage. 1959 Philly. We're finding a lot of better date coins with great detail in these two boxes. That's a good sign possibly of finding other goodies. Roll 72, boxes staying hot. Our first nickel from 1948. 1948, Philadelphia. Got to close up that 50 spot, unfortunately. Roll number 77 is going to flirt with 1950, but it's going to be another one from 1949. And that's a 49 Denver. It's heavily damaged. There is a 49 D over S, and with this damage... Wouldn't be worth anything extra anyway, but I had to check. It's actually our third 1949 nickel and the first from Denver. Roll 79, a relatively nice 1941 Jefferson nickel from Philadelphia. Roll number 93 of the hunt's gonna give us another nickel from 1949. It's pretty damaged, but it's a 49 Philadelphia. Wow, that's going to wrap it up for the two-box nickel hunt. And yes, we didn't slot a 50D yet again, but we had a fun hunt overall. A total of 36 finds on the board, which means we got 19 in box two after getting 17 in box one. We've got a lot of common nickels up here, but I will make mention that we did get a 1951 PD and S full set and a 52 PD and S full set as well. So that was kind of cool. But the finds of the hunt are down below. 
A low minted 2009 Philly nickel. Couple of foreign coins, you guys already saw them. And then the nice nickels are down here. We got a beautiful 53D, a beautiful 55D, a nice 1959 Philly, a nice 1965, and of course a nice and the semi key date, 1951 San Francisco. We'll definitely take that. And then the other finds, we got two Buffalo nickels. One's a 1927 Philly. And I tried my best to see if I could make out a date. Sometimes when I film it, you guys see it better than me. But I'm thinking it's probably a 1927 as well. Could be a 1917. Can't quite make it out. Don't want to nicodate it. It's a Philadelphia, so it's not a big deal not being nicodated. And then it's always fun getting some silver. 1943 Philly. Not in bad shape. I doubt it's an upgrader because it's common. But we'll definitely check them. Got some good finds in this hunt. Hopefully we had some upgrades. I don't think we have any additions, but let me go ahead and go through these really quick and compare them to the albums. And I'll be back with a look at the books and some final thoughts on this good two box hunt. All right, we have finished comparing all the finds to both albums. And coincidentally, we have two upgrades in each because we used the 51S and 53D to upgrade the series two album. And if you want to see them, the 51S is right here. Looks great. And the 53D is right below it. So a couple of good upgrades in this one. We took those two out and we added them to this book, which was the 51S down here. And the 53D is over here. So a couple upgrades for both albums, same coins, same nickels. We'll take it. Unfortunately, still missing the 50D from series two after 206 boxes searched. And Series 3, still missing the same three. I'll be honest, I thought we were going to have a 50D show up or maybe a 38 or 39S to find all those better dates and some S-minute coins. It just wasn't to be. Good thing is, we're not going to leave the Silver Jar out of this hunt. Silver Jar will get their second nickel on the year, and that definitely will make them happy. Hopefully you enjoyed this two-box hunt. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching. It's been a slow start for silver on the year, but any silver makes the silver jar happy.